primarily in, in uh, uh, the southern part of Asia, in Pakistan, India, but also there's some in, in, uh, in Africa as well, Nigeria. But uh, that is still the big push. But these other programs are just as important and perhaps require more of our time and our attention because it affects so many people in terms of uh, eradicating uh, poverty, education, and health worldwide. So, Jim, let me ask you a question. So, if you give to the foundation, do they decide only on floods? All hours? As we separate. Yeah. So what you yeah, there are, there are separate funds, and, and I, I'm not the best person to talk about the, all the different areas of, of the foundation, but there's a permanent fund and there's an annual giving fund. The Paul Harris goes to the permanent fund, the sustaining member goes to the annual fund, and those funds, uh, the annual fund is not for the polio, the polio fund, and neither is the uh, permanent fund either. They're separate. And each club right now has a... Uh, Okay. We're asking each club to try to raise money to match with Bill Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They donated two hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred and fifty million dollars this time to Rotary for the eradication of polio. And even though it's not attainable, they do want each club to strive to at least make some type of contribution, which we've done with separate 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 contributions to the Polio Plus Fund. We're well on our way. And we just found out recently that you never met Richard Pipe <coughs> out of the Pent uh, Pente Bellhaven Pantigo Club. Uh, he's rich. rich is going to be leaving our district at the end of the year. He, um, he'll be relocating. So he just sold his house. He'll be um, running a temporary quarters, I think he told me. So uh, we're looking for a, uh, someone to chair that particular entity, Polio Plus. And I think his term, he has to be one more year on his term, then someone else will take it for the next two years, I believe, uh, to finish out the obligation to the Foundation for Polio Eradication. So anybody interested, let this president know. So, requires some travel and it does have a lot of perks and that you get to meet a lot of people along the way. I guess I want to get back to the, the what if I, we put down, I think we're almost near our goal of what we put down in our planning our but you're saying that you want us to give what? Hundred dollars per person. That's the goal, and that that, that is the goal of every club around the world. Right, we'll be early, uh, traditionally, our club has done really well, as indicated on the banners on the on the wall there. Hundred percent participation of early, which is a hundred a minimum of hundred dollars for each club member. And then uh, we did it, and I think our club was one of the it was the only one that you wasn't down that did that. Even though some clubs raise a lot more money, but they don't get participation from all of their club members. And you'd be surprised some of the things out. We've got some great Rotarians, but I've heard some stories. They say, well, I gave up the office. 